Freaky and no more. He could make me start wanting to come in back with another reaction. Video. Look, man. Y'all know how this shit goes, man. I got some crazy shit to react to. You already know I'm about to, uh, go ahead and turn this shit on, man. We gonna get into it. Y'all see the title. And you know, I'm just gonna comment where it need to be commented at. We just gonna leave it just like that. About to get into it right now. Action. Quality is bad. Uh, it's gonna stay bad, low quality phone. Y'all know how this shit go. We get to it. All right, so for the past couple of days, I've been getting flooded with DMs asking, what are my thoughts on the NPC fetish? The what? Mm, ice is so good. Thank you, Lopez. Slay, huh? Mm, ice cream so good. Mm, ice cream so good. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. What is society at come to? Like, let's be 100. When I say this, oh, it comes to destruction. It comes to destruction. No shit. But what has society come to? Why is y'all so surprised what it's coming to if all y'all do is be on your phones all day? How y'all expect these people to act? These niggas don't know nothing outside their advice. So why is y'all niggas all surprised when y'all see somebody doing this shit? Like they a Minecraft character, bro. I don't know why anybody's surprised, my nigga. This shit was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. This shit was bound to happen. Let's continue, though. Let me tell you something about this. All right. I'm scanning everything I see. These is mostly TikTok niggas. Okay. If anybody didn't know, TikTok, TikTok niggas been failed society. Y'all failed society as soon as y'all launched the app and you, you start spamming videos on there. You been out of there, my nigga. You're done. You been done. See what this shit is. It's easy to brainwash people that don't have a mind of its own. They don't have their own purpose in life. Okay, yeah, they're content creator, but that's probably not the ultimate goal they want to be out this shit. You feel me? Most, 90% of content creators that's not aware of what's going on in the world, they're using you. The reason why you're pushing you so hard, the reason why you're the most popping is because they're using you to brainwash these kids. They're using you to, to make these kids brain dead. It's sad to say, but it's the real. They put, they poisoning all this television, all these YouTubers, all they great content, by the way. I love their content. Great content, by the way. But I don't watch them as much as y'all do. They using that against y'all to poison these kids. Mine. All they know is Riz. All they know is Bot. All they know is Bot Fetish. All they know is Dub and L. Outside of that, what do you know as a man and as a kid? Because y'all grown as men are doing this too. What the fuck is a good looks? What the fuck is what the fuck is a dub? Oh, that's a dub right there. That's an L. I understand what it means, but why do you speak like that in real life? My nigga, speak like that in the game with your niggas. It's cool. But when you come to real life, you go to, nigga, you go get a business deal or some shit. Like, you about to get a million dollar business deal with uh, collabing with somebody. Oh, yeah, good looks. No, nigga, what you gonna say? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, thank you for the opportunity. So why do y'all niggas speak like that if y'all gonna still speak uh cordial when you were in, you in a room with a lot of businessmen? You don't never hear no businessman say good looks. Let's be one honey. You feel me? It's the it's the truth. But let's continue this though. Hello. Hey Lily, thanks for the roses. I'll make sure to give those to my uncle. I haven't visited his grave in a while. I 
I saw these individuals, I thought they were AI generated homunculi. There is no way you are a human sentient being operating in this manner. But then it dawned on me. He are crazy. These are grown adults. I think that one guy was acting like Miles Morales. Maybe he was a child. But everybody else were grown adults. Moreover, this woman's a mother. What? I appreciate you, bed. What are you doing here? Go back to bed. Okay, then I'm coming with you. Okay, guys, I gotta go. Gotta put my son to bed because he wake up. See you in a minute. Mwah. Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Like, I've seen people into role play and stuff like that. It's Okay, I know I paused a lot. We already like uh six minutes in the recording. This might be a 30 minute video. If y'all wanted to hear everything I say, that's fine. If you're not, just go ahead and click the fuck off. I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? I just do this shit for the true uh fans and entertainment, you feel me? I really don't care about nobody that comes and go for real. I just really care about everybody that care about me. You feel me? All love and support to y'all. But look. <clears throat> the shape of how I see this shit. And what I see. It don't surprise me, because I already said this, by 2025, this world is going to be fucked. 20, uh, 2030, 2040, we might be all uh, deceased. It's because... You're controlled! Everything you do, somebody tells you to do it. You little niggas is depressed because the school system is fake. Fake. You go to school and learn about nothing. Nothing you supposed to really know. They don't teach you by financial, financial, financial literacy. You don't learn nothing about that. You will not be financially free. They want to keep you poor. This is shit they supposed to be teaching you in school. Shit that's gonna keep you will have money. Way before your retirement plan. You're going to have money 21 years old. Millions and millions of dollars. They don't want to teach you this. They want you... It depends on what area you go to. What district you go to. They got you labeled as poor, middle class, upper class. Even the upper class is poor. Let me tell you why. Because they don't want nobody making money. Why do you think the richest people on earth, they always say, I dropped out of school. Oh, no, nah, nah, I never went to school. Some of them, whoever did graduate school, what they do, they get rich when they in their 20s because they could have been did that when they was 18, but they didn't know nothing about it. Make it click. This, hey, this shit runs the world. YouTube runs the world. Uh, uh, TikTok, uh, all this shit. Social media is everywhere you go. If it's YouTube not there, TikTok is there. If TikTok's not there, then YouTube is there. It don't matter which one. They got all got the same access to the same videos that y'all can all watch. On one app. All this shit is connected. It's, it's called the internet for a reason. The internet's all connected to these apps, my nigga. Y'all understand what I'm saying now, right? Let's continue. I'm done pausing. It's considered role play? How do you even figure that out? You watch video games and all of a sudden, oh boy, man. Playing GTA, I'm just walking through the streets and suddenly I find myself getting erect. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait a minute. This is how you, how you develop this fetish? What is the client? What is the audience? The clientele? How? Oh, thank you, David. This is so cute. Hey, hi. Yes, you got me feeling like a cowgirl. Let me run it. Mmm, I feel so good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's be no talk. What is this? I've been asking myself that same question. Hot, 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 hot. When I first saw this, I thought Shorty was having an episode. Perhaps she has Tourette's. <laughs> With social media booming the way it's been booming over the course of the past decade, people doing this stuff in public. I'm so perplexed from what I'm watching. True. Look at these people. Scum! Where is this? Not spicy. No. Line of work. What goes through the mind to say, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be an NPC 
and I'm going to act as if I'm one of these characters that cannot be selected, and I'm going to do as they do, and somehow people are going to pay. Who was the first NPC fetish character live streamer on social media? I want that son of a bitch thing. How does the audience even find you? This seemed like an ad that pops up on an adult website, bro. And somehow it's been manifested into the real world. This is craziness. Yes, yes, yes. Take your Blake, take your Jace, gang gang. Take your Joe, take your I don't know. Take your Tay, take your Iron. Ooh, ooh. Yes, 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 gang gang. Yes, 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 gang gang. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Make this clear. It started off for, for video games. People already feel like they was already in it. And now, these people feel like the reality is the video game. They just acting like a made up character they just made up or a character they really want to be bad. It's no difference at all. Miles Morales nigga. That nigga is a, he's a 12 gauge shooter. Stay away from that man. I don't want no smoke on my guy. He acting like he's Spider-Man in the streets. Acting like an NPC. You go up there, you hit him with a layup punch. This nigga going hit. He going to shoot the spider webs at you. You done. These is all anime characters. Probably some I don't know because I don't watch every anime. But for sure. individuals is leading a panel sir what do you do for a living i'm an investment banker what do you do i'm a plumber i'm a teacher what do you do oh i'm an npc fetish model oh what yeah let me demonstrate what i do oh yes marshmallow mm, yes delicious oh popcorn yes yes thank you so are you kidding me and then when you ask the question who's made the most money in the past calendar year it's the npc fetish model whose hand goes up this is ridiculous you look lovely. Oh, good afternoon to you too, huh? Oh, oh, hee ha, yes, you got looking like a cowgirl, you ready? It's huh? Get, 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 get. Huh? Mmm, ice cream, so good, yes, 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 pop, amazing, fire, take your kiwi, oh, take your me, yes, you got looking like a robot, but, 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 This is a sick Negro. Did you look at the numbers? There are hundreds, no, thousands, and in some screens, Tens of thousands of individuals tuning in to watch somebody. Mm, hamburger, yum. Mm, ice, yes. Mm, yes. Hamburger, mm, yum. Mm. Are you kidding me? For hours, you're watching somebody. What is? What do you do in your day to day? When we get on the internet and we see people talk about, hey, you need to go touch grass. I think the average view of this kind of content is the epitome of go touch grass because of course you're gonna see an uptick in viewership just by natural curiosity where somebody might pop in and say i wonder what happens over the course of this 40 to an hour to an hour plus stream let me go see what all of this hysteria is about but to the view i agree my man's on this a lot of people you know that's going to investigate this stuff like he's doing right now and i'm doing right now I actually got put on it. Shout out, it's a recommend from Unk. I'm gonna put his uh, link. Uh, I'm gonna put his like his his little hashtag thing at the uh, link in the description. So I can go check out the original video without all the pausing, without my uh, my confirmation. You know my my opinion on it. So I agree, with my man's just saying right here. He's a thousand percent correct. We people gonna check this out for curiosity. Feel me? The views gonna go up. Then it might hit rock bottom. But knowing TikTok. They gon' they drag every little thing. They drag a nigga getting his penis cut off, for example. You feel me? And that might be regular in third world countries. That's gonna hit that viewership and that you know the monetate monetization gonna be all the way up there. You feel me? The recommends gonna be all the way up there. Don't be surprised you start if even if you don't watch stuff like that, you watch sports stuff on TikTok, uh, cats and kittens on TikTok, whatever. Don't be surprised when that shit pop up on your your 4A page. You feel me? Let's continue my man's for saying though. Who 
was watching when there was only about a hundred, you know, viewers while the individual was streaming? What does your day to day look like? Because everybody has a different interest, everybody has a different kink, everybody has a different fetish. But I'm very curious in this particular field of fetishism, what is your day to day life? Because you would assume this is some form of escapism. Right? You go and you battle the demons of the day. You come home to your computer and you just want something to disconnect from the world. But this is your selection? Really? Somebody's be honest with you. I won't think I don't think this selection is a disconnected from the world type of selection. I think this disconnection is you're completely confused and you probably trying to get into like who you really want to watch when you get on YouTube and TikTok and shit. Like everybody go on TV. I can say a lot of people, it's like, it's like personality. Watch the same shit. I like a lot of detective shows. I watch that shit time to time. All I watch is that and anime. I'll be honest with you, I don't watch really nothing else besides that. Probably some movies. I watched a lot of movies when I was younger. I still remember it. That's probably why I know a lot of shit from movies. But I'm that type of mood guy. I like detective shows and all that. I like crime shows. And I like anime. You feel me? Everybody fetish is different. Everybody uh, nerve or satisfaction is totally different. I could, I probably could, I probably could run into somebody that like actually watch like like stuff like a uh, adult films, but don't jerk off just because they want to watch it. Just that just release they they uh, fetish. You feel me? It's weird, but it's true. You know, I really think it's not people out there. It's really people out there that do be watching stuff like that, but they don't they don't you know what I'm saying they don't play with themselves. That shit is real, bro. Believe it or not, that shit is it's a hundred percent true. Like you believe it or not, it's just real. Sitting in front of a screen, yes, mm, marshmallow, yes, mm, yummy. Oh, give me, mm, yes, mm, 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 mm. tastes so good. Yeah, mm, mm. what? What are we doing? I don't know. So I'm going to sleep. Fuck that. A new challenger. <laughs> I like that. Mmm, basketball, yum. A man's right here. I don't know what that white shit is hanging out your hair, but you need to go wash your hair, bro. And you need to get that shit braided up. You out here looking retarded. You already got the Spider-Man suit on. I ain't docking nobody's drip. You got the latest Spider-Man suit and outfit on, so I know you're making a little money. Another car probably cost you like a band and a half for me for that fit. But my mans, go clean up your hair, bro. Take care of yourself. Self-love, self I don't care what you do. You can do the bot fetish, whatever you call it. The NPC fetish, whatever you call it, my guy. But take care of yourself, bro. Because you obviously getting money if you, you know what I'm saying? You doing a trend. Even though y'all going, going to be the fastest one to hit rock bottom. I'm not, I'm not quick to judge. I'm just here to be my honey with y'all and go my motherfucking bench. Yeah, man. Clean yourself up, bro. I don't know what you got going on. And let me say this again. And I've been saying it since day one. We're in a situation where you can't even hate the player. You got to hate the game. Because as goofy of an individual you got to be to wake up in the morning and get yourself into this NPC character, no matter how old you may be to go and perform for X amount of minutes and or hours, you have to consider these individuals are getting paid thousands upon thousands of dollars yep. to do this. They Money. have a couple of these people who are making six figures. That's anywhere between 100000 and 999000 per year off of this. You Money. got people who went to school. You got people who've been working years upon years trying to climb up the ladder in their profession, not even sniffing the amount of... Okay, so this is one thing I want to do because... This is one thing I want to say because, like, I just want to be real. None of that shit matters when it comes to career-wise shit. Everybody has a choice. You feel like you don't have a choice because it's all mentally up here. You think you fucked up here, but in reality, you could have did. You could have forced some shit to make it go that way. Your favorite rapper, they didn't rap for one week and got famous, bro. This is years and years and years of work. Feel me? 
It's a years and years of work. Same thing. It don't matter if you want to be a lawyer, bro. It don't matter if you want to be the best investor in the fucking world. Everything takes time. So I disagree with him on that. A few old school people, they even admit that AI, the AI way and all this shit gonna make you some money for right now. But if, for longevity, it might work. It might not. It's 50-50. Not for everybody 100% for that. Feel me? I don't want to, I will just, I'm going to just stop him right here because I don't want him to try to put that blame on you picking your decision of what you want to do career-wise and you not making as much money as you want to. Nigga, no, you're not obligated to make no dollar at all. No X amount of dollars at all. You got to go work for that. You got to go get that, bro. That's one thing I do believe in. I'm not complaining about my situation. Cause you know what? I'm going to work my way up from the fucking ground all the way up to the top. No excuses, not crying, no bitching, no whining. A hundred percent, thousand percent, feel me? I don't care if I got to work every little day. I don't care if I got to drop a video every little day. Not talking about no sub I'm talking about every little day, period, to get what I want to be at. I will do what I got to do, feel me? Yeah, I got to have that attitude instead of just trying to blame everything. Wages that these people are making here, so I can't even blame them for doing so. That, that, I, that, that is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. I just don't understand. Maybe it's I'm out of touch. Maybe we're out of touch. Those of us who don't understand. Because I've never been so flummoxed, confused, flabbergasted by a fetish in my entire life. I've talked in the past on people who are into butt stuff. Are you into the anal ingots? Those who are into toes and stuff and foot fetishes and all this other stuff. NPC fetish? NPC fetish? Crazy world. If there's the, this got to be the most bizarre fetish I've ever seen in my life. How do you do that? How do you do that? What the hell is going on? And you know what the sad reality is? I know it's not women who pay for this. It's y'all goofy ass dudes that just so happen to be out here. Super simps who got numerous different OnlyFans subscriptions and now you out here paying NPC fetish models. Bro, it's getting ridiculous. I ain't telling you you can't have the interest. I ain't telling you you can't go out there and put money. One thing I gotta say, clear it up. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. For you guys out here that is paying for that, to unfuck your life, start out by unsubscribing to all that shit. I don't care if you got premium adult films. Unsubscribe to all that. You need to stop playing with yourself. You can't clear up your skin. You can't, you can't even think right. You're so scared. You're so vulnerable. You can't do nothing. And you need to start hitting the gym. Eat healthy. You won't look better. Burn all that belly fat off. Get some muscle. Start hitting them weights. Do calisthenics too. Don't forget your calisthenics. That's most important. Pull ups, push ups, dips, all that. You come a cop. Don't play with yourself, bro. That's fucking losers. Don't do that shit. Find entertainers that you just so happen to enjoy. But I promise you, these are not individuals who are financially well off. I'm telling you that right now. These are individuals who ain't got nothing else going on in their goddamn life. They staying inside, whether it be their mama, their papa, whoever basement it just so happen to be in. They probably got a dirty room or whatever the case may be. They're nope. not sitting financially abundant. They are not having countless amounts of food and all butt cheeks, whatever the case may be that you're nope. into. One way or another, I'm telling you right now, there's some lonely individuals who tuning into this shit. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to get the internet regulated, bro, because it's starting to get ridiculous. We've seen the society fall into degeneracy before with... I agree with him. I know I said I'm going to stop pausing. I'm going to let it play the, the next three minutes. I'm going to let that shit play all the way through. One thing this reality has turned into is that it don't matter what you are. You could be successful in real life, but if your internet, your internet for you page, and your internet page, like where people come see and visit who you are and try to see who you is, if that shit is not right nowadays, you're nothing. It, don't, it doesn't matter what you do. The internet runs everything. That's what people don't understand. I agree with my man to say right here. All of these people is broke. They poor. They live with their mom. They don't got shit going on. They're not trying to get nothing going on. This is the type of fans. This is the type of fans that these people have. And it's just keeping them more poor, keeping them more dumbed down. This is the shit I was talking about brainwashing. They use the biggest content creators. I've been telling y'all niggas this for a while, which I just never want to listen to me. They've been using the biggest content creators for a long time to brainwash these kids, bro. These is majority kids. Yes, they're gonna be broke. Yes, they're gonna be poor. They don't have nothing. Their parents got money. They don't got money. They do not have money. Your parents put shoes on your feet. Your parents put clothes on you. You don't have nothing. You just you you just getting raised 
for you to go out there in the real world and get a job, and then you're going to have your own stuff, your car, your house, possibly your life, wife or a husband, hopefully some kids, God bless. But you can't do that the way how this internet is. You're going to be 40 years old. I'm telling you right now what you're going to be. You're going to be 40 years old in your mom's basement or in your dad's house. Not doing shit with your life. Playing the video game. <laughs> Not doing shit with your life. Then when they ready to kick your ass out, they don't love you, don't care for you. Bro, they raised you. That's love. I don't care if you got raised tough, hard, thick, thin. If somebody's, somebody raised you, that's the, all the love you need. Raising you is supporting you. They supporting you. They watching you grow. No reason, no reason to hate. Because in the past, we would look at things like this, like, oh boy, we have to think long term. 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line, you're going to be known as the girl or the dude who is doing this NPC fetish shit. And there'll be some form of shame uh, that is attached to your name. But no, I, truly, I changed my whole tune on this. I don't think there'll be any shame attached to anybody who is doing any forms of degeneracy during this generation. Because now it was the most monetized to do so. You happen to be in the adult industry. You happen to be in one of these NPC particular kind of industries. Not to say that they're exactly the same thing, because they're not. But one way or another, I don't think there's going to be any form of shame for whatever somebody done did on the internet. I promise you that. 15 years down the line, ain't nobody going to remember who the fuck you are. Because everybody has this 15 minutes of fame type shit going on right now. True. It doesn't matter how big you just so happen to get. You True. You have your moment. You can disappear, go somewhere else, and nothing will follow you moving forward. The digital footprint used to mean something. Me personally, my opinion, I don't think it does anymore. It don't. I promise you, this woman gonna be well off in about 10, 15 years. Ain't nobody gonna remember she was going through this shit, what the hell she was doing during this doggone time. Any of these NPC fetish models, bro, they gonna be caking, living in a doggone mansion, having a goddamn chauffeur or butler, or whatever the case may be. I promise you, nothing's gonna come back to haunt them. Because goofy-ass motherfucking simps put all these extra bands inside their doggone pocket. I don't know what's going on on social media, so it's starting to get... Women have used that shit to their advantage, man. Both of you low value men out there, you're scared of rejection. So you start buying chick stuff, you start paying for their OnlyFans, you start giving them attention that every other nigga in the city is giving her. Stop being a clown, bro. Be real with yourself. Be a honey with yourself. What is yourself telling you? It's telling you, nigga. Wake the fuck up, nigga. It's time to go get this money, nigga. It's time to go hustle with your team. Or if you ain't got no team, nigga, hustle by yourself. You don't need no team. Hustle by yourself, nigga. Go get it by any means. I don't care if you got to work 48 hours just to get one check, my nigga. Go do what you got to do to go get that shit. Feel me? You chasing the wrong thing. If y'all is if y'all males out there is making a lot of money and you don't got your life together, you need to start hitting the gym. Stop playing with yourself. You need to start eating right. Clean out your clean out your whole system. You become a cop. It's starting to get really ridiculous. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section. Because right now, I'm so perplexed. I don't know what's going on. I spent 36 minutes researching this NPC fetish. And I still don't know where it originated from. Who the fuck that the, the guaranteed audience may be. How does one even get into this? I don't know, though. Y'all, y'all. Y'all start this course in the comment section because this is this is blowing my mind right now. Thanks for the follow. Thanks. I appreciate it. We got that. I guess I'm staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Another thing they could be doing, what can be like uh forcing people to pay or giving people a, a think they got to think they have to have to pay for this shit. If you don't, if somebody don't subscribe or follow and like within like 20 or 15 minutes every time they're going in like they're going in stream and shit because they're not they're not getting the money they want so these is if you ever run into people like this they always be like okay if you don't subscribe to my channel i'm gonna in screen i'm gonna in stream they only doing this shit for the money i'm not getting paid a dollar for doing this shit right now 
but I know eventually I am going to get paid off these videos, these videos I'm doing. It's because, bro, it's a quote I heard is, you're not broke if you already working towards a million dollar check and you're not even rich yet. You know, some shit like, it's a, it goes something like that. Basically, what they're saying is, you putting in all the work right now, you doing all the work right now just to get that X amount of check. You already have that check. You just got to keep doing the work and keep working harder for that check. It's like how you get a nine-to-five job. You got to go in and do eight hours, five hours, six hours, ten hours, whatever. So you got to do a certain amount of hours, right, to get that certain amount of check. That check is already, you already going to guarantee get that check even for going, even for stepping a foot into that place. You going to get a check. It's because, bro, you already stepped on that floor. You already going to get a check. All right? But the check, the amount, it's about the amount of that check. It might be a thousand, it might be eight hundred, might be five hundred, might be three, might be two. You feel me? Depends on how much you willing to put in to get that check. People don't realize if you apply that same hustle ambition y'all do at these nine to five jobs, you'll be rich. You'll be, matter of fact, wealthy. Forget rich. Rich don't mean nothing. Rich means check going right there. Wealthy forever. I'm being dead ass. I just gave y'all the tea. I could be charging niggas only, not only fans, but uh, Patreon for this, for the shit I know. But I'm a real nigga though. Keep that in mind. I know this shit done, and he just replaying this shit. I got a question for some niggas. Do y'all niggas actually get turned on by this shit? I'm not judging you. I'm just asking you. If this is why y'all pay for them to keep going live or something. Don't tell me y'all niggas is. I mind my business. Let this video play out. She did like a little magic trick or some no. shit. Chris Ben Wall! It's my nigga Chris Ben Wall. Hit that subscribe button, nigga. And become a member. God! God! Oh, more, man. A shout out to my mans right here, man. Came in clutch with the uh, the footage and shit. Because I didn't, I really, y'all know I hate doing my own research on shit. He came in clutch with the footage and shit, man. Davey and no more in the cup. Me. Shit. Out the cut, man. Go! Go! I'm going to catch on the next one when we're working 300 subscribers. And they subscribe right now, bro. Hey, man. I love y'all. Y'all take care of y'all, so. Y'all be safe 100.